Good morning, lovely yogis. Today for our half of practice, we will need a bolster or a big pillow, as well as a block or a very thick book. Once you have your props, sit onto your block with your knees in a downward facing slant, sitting up nice and tall through the spine, and taking a few deep breaths just to ground yourself, to center yourself, to finish up with your thoughts. Relaxing physically to the jaw, letting the tongue drop away from the roof of the mouth. Feel that exhale move through your collarbone, down through your spine, and into your hips.
open our eyes, move our block to the side, and come up to our standing position at the top of the mat. Feet are hip distance apart, lift the toes, spread the toes, and gently place them back down. Roll the shoulder blades back and activate your bandhas, so your root pulling up the pelvic floor, pulling the belly button in and up, and then just gently slight tuck of the chin as you lift through the crown of your head. Standing here with your eyes closed, breathing for a moment. Really trust with ourselves when we stand with our closed eyes. And open the eyes gently, slide your right hand down the leg. Inhale, left arm up and over, leaning to the right. Take a few breaths, opening the side body. Lift the right hand, deep breath. Coming back up, lifting both hands up to the sky. Pull your belly button in and up. Take a few breaths. your hips. We're just going to start to draw a figure eight with our hips, side to side, and then eight shape. Shifting your weight from foot to foot. Doing it with intention. And let's take three more breaths in this movement. Step both feet up. 
Lifting halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms, coming all the way up. Feel that lift through the belly. Exhale, hands to the heart. Again, inhale, sweeping. Exhale, hinge slowly forward. Inhale, lift halfway, lift the head. Plant the hands, step both feet back into your high plank. Fingers spread wide, elbows pointing backwards. Shift yourself forward, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Pressing up, pressing through the top of your feet, lifting your legs off of the mat into upward facing dog. And then exhale, lift the hips back into down dog. Breathing here, you can find stillness or you can walk your heels. Nice loud ocean breath in the ears. Sliding it outside you. 
right arm lifts, lift the hips, and breathe. Let the hips sink back down, bring your right hand planted, bring the left hand back and around to down dog, and take two full breaths, lifting the tailbone. Lift the gaze to your hands. Step both feet up. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold forward. Long hold here. Letting gravity come down the back of your neck. Let's take three more full breaths. Bend your knees, roll yourself all the way up through the spine, lifting the hands up to the sky, take a deep breath in, and exhale, hands to the heart. Standing for a moment, maybe closing your eyes, we're building that chest. Your hip distance apart. Lift the toes, gently place them down. This is the balancing pose, so if you need to come closer to a wall, make your way there. And then hands come to your hips. Shift your weight into your left foot, and then bend through your left knee just a little bit so that it's not locked out. We're going to be doing a movement here. So lifting your right foot up in front, bending that knee. Flexing your right foot. We're going to draw a wide circle out to the right and bring yourself forward into warrior three. Right foot is still flexed, reaching the arms out in front, hips are level with one another. Don't worry if you're falling out. Slowly come back up, keep breathing. And then bring your hands into your heart. Bring your knee forward and up. Keep that foot flexed. We're coming around one more time. So wide circle. Bring yourself forward. And keep your heart center. <laughs> keep your heart center, keeping yourself balanced. And then slowly bring your knee forward. Lifting it up high and gently placing it down. Do a little wiggle for your left ankle. Oh, and then from the top of your mat again, keep our hip distance. Take a few breaths. Shifting your weight into your right. Hands to your hips. Bend through the right knee. And then bring the left foot up and around. Find your balance. Think of your heart center. Drawing a nice big circle around to the left. Shifting your heart center forward. Lifting your left leg. Stretching your arms out in front of you. Hands come into the heart. Knee comes through. Lifting it nice and high. Let's do it one more time. Hands to the hips, keeping yourself stable. Drawing a big circle back and around. You can keep your hands on your hips here if you're de dealing with balance like I am today. When you're ready, pull the knee through, lift the knee. In here today. And exhale, release. Wiggling out that right ankle. Perfect. So from 
the top of the mat. Let's bring our toe and our big toe mounds together with a little bit of space between our ankles. We're going to reach up nice and high. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bend the knees, shifting your weight into your heels. Knees are pressing towards one another, chair pose. Pelvic bone is neutral, not out too far, not tucked in too far. Full breaths. And then bringing your left elbow on the outside of your right leg, keeping the weight even in your feet. Twisting, breathing. Inhale back to center. Exhale. Other side. Breathing nice and calm. Inhale, coming all the way up, stretching your legs straight. Exhale, back down. So from here, keeping your left knee bent, sitting back on the heel, stretch your right foot back into a high lunge, stacking your left knee, inhale, reach up. And as you exhale, bring yourself forward again into your chair pose. Two more of those. Stepping back, inhale up. Exhale, shifting the heart forward. Stepping into chair. Nice and low on the chair. One more time. Back with the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. And then straighten up. Take a breath in. Exhale, into chair. Good. Shifting your weight into your heels. Left foot steps back into that high lunge, inhale, lift. Exhale, shift forward into your chair. Back again with the left. Staying high on your toes with your back foot. And forward again, one more time. Back with the left, inhale, reach up. Exhale forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back to the heart. Closing the eyes and just feeling those sensations in your legs. back away from the block. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge, folding forward. Bring your hands to the block in front of you. Inhale, lift halfway. So from here, we're going to bend our left knee just slightly. Right leg stays straight. So left hand is planting on the block. And when you're ready, let's inhale our right arm out and up towards the sky. Stretching our iliotibial bend down our right leg on the outside of the leg. Take a few deep breaths. Trying to keep your shoulder, your right shoulder lifted up and away from your ear while keeping the left shoulder down and away as well. Right hand travels back, replaces the left hand. Now the left leg straightens with a slight bend in the right knee. When you're ready, inhale up. Feeling that 
sensation run down the outside of the left leg, yeah, T-band, breathing deeply. And left hand travels back down, let's inhale, lift halfway, exhale, forward. Letting the neck go. Take a few more breaths here. Inhale, lift halfway. Moving your block over to the side. We're going to bring our hands down to the mat in front of us. Keep our right foot where it is. Big step back with the left and lower the left knee down. Good. So when you're coming down, your right knee is stacked over your right ankle and traction your left knee forward so that you're resting more on top of the knee and not down here. When you're ready, push yourself up and away, which includes your belly. Don't really lean into that front leg with the belly. You want it up so that the spine is tall and straight. Take a few breaths here. Relaxing the shoulders without losing the integrity of the spine. And bring the arms down. We're going to bring our left elbow on the outside of our right leg, connecting the palms of your hands. And then from here, you can. Stay here with your knee down twisting, or you can come up onto the left toes, lifting yourself high on those toes. Bring your hands in towards your heart. Breathe here. Back leg is active and strong. Breathing into your twist. down on either side of your right foot. Lift the left knee and sweep yourself back into downward facing dog. And take two breaths, letting your hips sink back. From here, step your left foot between your hands. And lower the right knee down, same setup, traction your back knee, stacking your left knee over your left ankle. From here, push up, pull the belly up and away, reaching the hands up to the sky. A few deep breaths. In those breaths, you are focusing on finding stillness within Relaxing the jaw muscles, pulling the belly button in and out. Perfect. Right elbow, outside of the left leg. Hands come to the Anjali Mudra at your heart. You can either keep yourself down or lift yourself up high onto your right toes. Grounding through the left foot, twisting and breathing. Hands come back on either side of the left foot. Sweep yourself back to down dog. And take two breaths in and out. Right foot steps between the hands, lowering the left knee down. Really traction this time. Take that time to pull the left knee forward and untuck the toes. Coming up. So from here, 
Bring your belly down. Lift your left shin up, reaching back for the foot. If you need some padding under your left knee, take that time. Reaching your right hand up or keeping it on your right leg. We're stretching out our left quad. Take a few breaths. more breath in and out. Right hand comes down, gently releasing the left foot, bringing the toes back down. From here, hands plant, lift the left knee, sweep back to down dog. A few breaths to let the hips sink back. From here, left foot comes up. Lower the right knee and traction. So that tractioning is the pulling forward motion, sliding the weight more onto the top of the knee, not down here. When you can bend your right leg back, reach back for your right foot. Remember, use padding if it hurts. We don't want any pain anywhere. When you're ready, lift the left hand to take a few breaths. After you a few breaths, bring yourself forward, gently releasing the knee very, very slowly back down. Take all the time for that. When you're ready, hands are planted, lift the right knee, Sweep back to down dog. Take a breath in and out. From here, keep your left hand planted, reaching back for your left leg with your right hand, looking under your left arm. You're rolling your chest open to the left. Looking back, placing your hand back down, make sure it's even with the left. One breath in the middle. Grounding through the right hand, reach back through your right ankle with your left hand. Gazing under the left, ujjayi breath. One more breath and down dog. You lift the gaze between the hands, step both feet up. Lifting halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way back up, reaching to the sky. And exhale, back to the heart. Bring your feet hip distance apart. Hands of the heart, lift the toes, placing them down gently, closing the eyes and breathing. Feeling all the sensation in your body. a big step back to the left foot, turning both your feet parallel to one another with a slight pigeon toe. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, lift the heart up to the sky. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forward. Hands to the ground in front of you. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale. A couple deep breaths, just hanging out here. Inhale, 
inhale, straighten the arms, lifting halfway, walking your hands forward, just barely off of your block, off of your mat, and then place your left hand in the center of the floor in front of you, so it's underneath your heart. Fingers are spread. Bring your right hand up to your hip. You need to lift your left hand a little bit or come onto a block. That is an option. From here, you're rolling your heart open to the right side. Take a few breaths. And then roll yourself back down, replacing your left hand in the same spot with your right hand. When you're ready, left hand to left hip, rolling yourself open to the left. Trying to keep yourself lifted up and away from your right arm. And try not to squeeze your left shoulder into the ear. Keep space there. And coming back down to the center. We are going to walk ourselves forward a little bit more. Slowly with intention, start to bend the knees and come down to them. Good. We're facing sideways on our mat. Let's bring our big pillow or bolster straight out the side of our mat. Coming into frog pose. So to protect the knees, folding over the side of your mat works. If you need extra, have blankets. So walking your knees away from one another, your feet are flexed, pointed out, so your toes are pointing away from one another. There's a, a line from your hips to your knees, and then your knees to your ankles. Straight line there. Plant down to your hands. We're stretching the inner seam of our legs. If it feels good and okay for you, you can make your way down to your belly. Go onto the pillow. Let's slow everything down. Take a few long and deep breaths. Tongue down away from the roots of the mouth, relax the jaw. See if you can soften through the shoulder blades just a little bit more.
walking yourself halfway up, planting down through your left hand. We're going to slide our right hand underneath the left. I'm going to rest at the shoulder and on the side of your right temple. Pressing through the back of your right hand. You can use your left hand there. If it feels okay, you're stretching your left hand straight up to the sky, really pressing through that right hand. Full breaths. Left hand comes back down. Press the back up. Replanting your hands in front of you. Left hand slides under the right. Back of the hand on the ground. Coming down to the shoulder. Down to the left temple. Really pressing through the back of your left hand. And if it feels good, reaching the right fingertips up to the sky. Good, bring the right hand back down. Bringing yourself back to that limbo point, maybe wiggling your hips side to side for a little release in the lower back. And then bringing yourself forward and to your seat. Once you're on your seat, grab for your block. On its lowest height, place it behind you with about a hand's distance between you and the block. Bending your knees out in front of you. Sitting your belly up so that it wants to touch the legs in front of you, tall spine. We're going to bring our left foot under the right towards the hip, laying it down. Right foot comes up and over and plants into the ground. Take your time. If you need a modification, you can just keep your left leg stretched straight out and your right foot with your knee bent and planted. From here, our right hand comes to the block behind us and presses in so that you feel that lift through the spine. Inhale, left fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, elbow, left elbow on the outside of the right leg, pulling the belly button in and up, twisting towards the right. Through mid spine, not through your neck. back to the front, removing your leg and coming back to that bent knee position, sitting up tall. Take a breath in and out. Right foot comes under the left, towards the left hip and lay the leg down. Left foot comes up and over the right knee, planting the foot into the ground. Both sit bones are grounded. Left hand comes back and around, presses into the block, lifts your spine into the sky. Inhale, reach the right fingertips. Exhale, right elbow on the outside of the left knee, twisting through mid spine, not through the neck. Couple breaths into that twist. Breathing deeper into that resistance that you might feel in your lungs. And release back to the front. Moving the block, sitting yourself up, coming into a couple boat poses. So remember level one, you're holding behind your knees, toes are Tapping the ground, you're rocked between your sit bones and your tailbone, level one. Two, legs are lifted straight. Three, no hands. Four, legs straight. So wherever you are today is perfect for your body. We're gonna do two of these. 
So as long as your heart is lifted and your belly is coming in towards your legs and you're breathing strongly, strong ujjayi breath. Across the ankles, sit yourself forward, hug your knees into your belly as you're rocking, and take a breath, full breath. One more. Wherever you're at, keeping your belly and heart lifted and breathing. Bring yourself forward, lift. And then bring your legs straight up in front of you. Feet are flexed up to the sky. Spine is nice and tall. Let's bend our right foot in. And take the bottom of the hand, or sorry, bottom of the foot in your both hands. So your left foot, your heel is anchoring you. From here, Lean back a little bit, stretch your right foot up, let it lift you through the heart, and continue to lift through the heart center as you're growing the spine. Take a few deep breaths, letting your hamstrings normalize into this. And rock yourself forward and continue to lift tall through the spine. Slowly bend the knee down, bring the foot all the way down, and releasing it forward. Bending, left knee, sitting up nice and tall, reaching for the bottom of your left foot with both hands. Right heel anchors us as you inhale, lifting. As you exhale, lift the heart. Inhale, lift. <laughs> Lift up through the top of your head. Exhale through the back of your left leg. Both feet are flexed, tall spine. down to our back body 
make sure that your bolster or pillow is close by. So roll your way down, hug your knees in, rocking to massage the spine, and then stretching your legs straight down below you. Take a full stretch with your hands up above your head. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, relax through the spine. Take a moment with the eyes closed again. Noticing these in-between moments. From here, lift the chest, fold the shoulder blades underneath. We're going to bend our left knee and plant our left foot in. Left hand reaches straight up beside you in a T position. Keep bending your left foot up towards your belly. Right hand on the outside of the left leg. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, pull that leg over the body, twisting, adjusting so that both shoulder blades stay on the ground. You can gaze over the left fingers. Take a few breaths, softening into this pose.
steps and your toes back towards you, holding it there. And do a few motions between both of them. Bringing your legs into a wide V. And bring your hands resting just below the knees on the inner seam of the leg. Take a few breaths. Trying to keep the upper body soft. Legs come back towards one another. Let's slide our hands back down the back of our right leg, bringing it forward towards us. And let the left leg come down. Soften the collarbone, soften the jaw. And then bringing them back up, other side, sliding the hand down the left leg. Let the right leg slowly float down. Take more breaths. Legs knee back to the middle, bending the knees in towards the belly. And slowly, either both at the same time or one at a time, Feet come down towards the ground. Hit the pause button. Take a few breaths. See if you can relax your spine. When you're ready, you're going to lift the hips, slide the bolster out, and lower the hips down to the ground. Preparing yourself for Shavasana, rolling those shoulder blades under, tucking the chin in towards the chest just a little bit so that you feel length through the back of your neck, feet are falling away from one another, one another naturally, and your hands are out at your sides. Let's take three releasing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth.
Start to bring your awareness back into the body. Breathing deeper and wiggling fingertips and toes. If it feels good to stretch yourself out or to hug your knees into your belly, you can do both or neither. When you're ready, rolling onto your right side. Cradling your head and taking a few more deep breaths. When you're ready, returning to your seat. In a cross leg position, sitting nice and tall through the spine, taking a few more deep breaths. Reflecting on your practice today and what came up for you. Anjali Mudra over your heart center. Non-stealing turns us from theft to cultivating new skills and abilities. Why steal from your life by stealing your will? Instead, be still and love. A hundred times a day, I remind myself that my inner and outer life depend on the labors of other people, living and dead that I must exert myself in order to give in the full measure I have received and am still receiving. Let's close practice with one ohm. So breathing in and out first. Inhale to ohm.